What is the Kaiba Lion? The Kaiba Lion explained. This mysterious and elusive book purportedly contains some of the teachings from the mystery schools of ancient Egypt as well as ancient Greece. Over the years, the same question has always remained. What is the Kaiba Lion and who wrote it? The Kaiba Lion was originally published in 1908 by a group of people or a person using the pseudonym of the Three Initiates. It is believed that this book contains some of the teachings of Hermes Trismegistus. It is believed that this book will make its appearance in the student's or reader's life when the appropriate time comes. This book contains seven principles. The principle of mentalism, the principle of correspondence, the principle of vibration, the principle of polarity, the principle of rhythm, the principle of cause and effect, and the principle of gender. The principle of mentalism, the all is mine, the universe is mental. This principle explains that the universe is not this physical and tangible reality, but that the universe, as well as the all, or the substantial reality which constitutes the manifestations of the physical, is mental. The all can also be known as energy, matter, or simply the universe, and anything that we can witness with our material senses. This in itself is considered unknowable and inconceivable, but it can be considered a unique universal living mind, a universal consciousness that links us all. This explains that the entire universe is simply a mental projection of this universal consciousness. According to this, we are simply extensions of this universal consciousness or the all, and we are the universe experiencing itself. This can explain the nature of matter and energy. This principle can also explain that our thoughts create our reality and that our reality is not intangible. The Principle of Correspondence As above, so below. The ancient Hermeticist considered this principle as one of the most important mental tools in which man was able to attain a better understanding of the universe. This principle states that there is correspondence between the planes of manifestation, life, and being. It is stated as truth because everything that is included in the universe comes from the same source, therefore the same characteristics and laws apply. In Hermetic philosophy, the universe is considered to be divided into the three great planes. The great planes are not considered actual divisions of the universe, but rather terms used by the teachers in order to aid in the study of the various forms of universal activity. These planes include the great physical plane, the great mental plane, and the great spiritual plane. The Principle of Vibration This principle states that everything is in motion and that absolutely nothing is at rest. This is incredible because modern science now backs up this fact. It is incredible to think that the teachers of ancient Egypt has preached this fact thousands of years prior. It is explained that all the different manifestations of the mind, spirit, energy, and matter results from the different rates of vibration from the universal mind. The higher the vibration, the higher the position on the scale. This rule applies to the highest form of matter, to the lowest form of matter, and in between this scale are billions of varying degrees of vibration. This applies to the smallest atom all the way up to the universes and planets. This fact also holds true for the spiritual planes and mental planes. When the hermetic student has an understanding of this principle, he or she will be able to control their own mental vibrations. The principle of polarity. Everything is dual. Everything has its pair of opposites. Everything has two poles. These axioms explain paradoxes that has perplexed people for thousands of years. This principle explains that opposites are two sides of the same coin. That opposites are the two extremes of the same exact thing, with varying degrees in between them. Where does one thing end and the opposite begin? Light and darkness is an excellent example of this. Light and darkness is actually the same thing, with the difference being varying degrees between the two poles. At what point does darkness become light, and vice versa? This law cannot be replaced. Another great example of this principle is the phrase, a thin line between love and hate. 
Love and hate are the degrees of technically the same thing. Our medic students understand this, and this is where mental alchemy comes into play. Mental fortitude is what constitutes the ability to transition from one degree of a vibration to another. An example, transmuting good into evil or evil into good. If you can understand this principle, you can change your polarity. The principle of rhythm. Everything moves in a measured motion. Everything has a high tide and a low tide. There will always be an action and a reaction. The universe is no different in following this law. The destruction and creation of worlds, the mental state of man, as well as the life of all things applies to this law. You cannot stop this law to cease its operation. The only thing a student of the art can do is discover methods and means on how to overcome its effects. At some point, the student will learn how to manipulate this principle as opposed to being manipulated by it. He or she will be able to neutralize his swing and not be carried back and forth between poles. Using willpower, the student will not be swung back and forth like a pendulum. The principle of cause and effect. There is a cause and effect for everything. I'm sure you heard the phrase, you reap what you sow. There is no such thing as chance or nothing merely just happens. There is a cause for every effect, an effect from every cause. Absolutely nothing escapes this law. Usually the higher planes of existence is dominating the lower planes of existence. But the goal of the student is to become a causer instead of people reacting to the effects of the cause. Using this rule can help the student learn and play the game of life. Obey the causation of higher planes, but in doing so, this will help you master your own plane. The last and final principle is the principle of gender. The masculine and feminine principles are forever at work. Gender is manifested in everything. No type of spiritual, physical, or mental creation is possible without this law. For example, on the physical plane, this law is manifested as sex. Every feminine element contains a male principle, and every male principle has a female element. Everything has its masculine and feminine principles. Alright you guys, that concludes our first video. Many thanks for watching. Please make sure that you guys like and subscribe. Also, we have a Facebook page, uh, facebook.com slash articles of reality. And we also have an Instagram page, at articles of reality. If you're interested in reading a, reading a blog post version of this video, that's also available on articlesofreality.com. Many thanks for watching. Peace and love.